An Upper East Side anti-racist group, Upper East Side for Black Lives Matter, has been gathering at Carl Schurz Park every night since June 2nd following the murder of George Floyd. They've suffered the kinds of violence, threats, harassment, and stalking that anti-racist movements have experienced for more than 60 years. On June 19th, 2020, the group was on a non-violent march down Lexington Avenue when two men in an SUV attempted to ram through the middle of the crowd. Our elected officials in the media had no response. The police who were following the march were no help at all. With hundreds of people on the scene pleading to give their testimony, the police took nothing but a statement from the driver who only stopped their car once their windshield was smashed. We didn't hear a damn word from our elected assemblywoman. Now why do I use such strong language? Because when our assemblywoman's office suffered vandalism with nasty language and paint, she banged the drums of war to stir our neighbors into a frenzy. She held a press conference and brought out our congresswoman, Carolyn Maloney. She called every elected official in the state to give a comment. Now, when you put the two incidents side by side, a month apart, you see a priority for property destruction over safety in the community. The same mixed up priorities that our neighbors saw when police refused to take their statements. Sadly, I cannot answer the screams of fear that haunt me with just silence. So what do we expect our elected officials to do if something worse happens? What if violence occurs when you're trying to exercise your First Amendment rights? You can't protect black lives by posing for a photo. You can't protect trans lives by posting on social media. And you can't fight anti-Semitism with just a press conference. As an elected official, you have two choices. You either pass legislation or you organize in the streets. Our assemblywoman takes up neither solution. Her ineffectual attitude and entitlement are not worthy of our votes. Inaction cannot help us survive this pandemic, whether we're talking about COVID-19, the virus of anti-Black racism, or the virus of anti-Semitism. We will not survive another day. I'm someone who's on the ground, who puts my body on the line. When you vote for me, you aren't just voting for leadership and experience. You're voting for someone who is willing to put themselves in harm's way for your behalf. Being an elected official comes with responsibilities. Our country was founded on this notion and all great leaders have been on the ground with their communities. I vow to serve with solemnity, sanctity, and seriousness. Whether we agree politically or not, whether we know each other or not, I will fight as hard for someone I don't know as I'll fight for myself. So with that, I hope that I can earn your vote on November 3rd.